What's going on everyone? It's RGB Tech back here again with another new video. So today in this video, I'm testing out the WinLater 9 version on the low-end Android device. Right now, so this is my Galaxy phone powered by Qualcomm Snapdragon 750 with Adreno 619 GPU running on 6 gigs of RAM. The same settings also apply for the other devices with Adreno 619 or lower, like the Adreno 610. It's also recommended to have at least 6 gigs of RAM or above for better stability for the emulation. Okay, so this is the latest version of WinLater, version 9. I've already covered all the features about WinLater 9 on both Snapdragon and Mali devices. In my previous video, like the new Vortec driver, but unfortunately it didn't work well. And there are a couple of other fixes. If you missed that video, make sure to check out the carts or in the description. If you already installed, you can directly update. Once everything is done, open WinLater application. Allow permission, same as usual. Now go to settings. Select Box 64 version. Here you can also install component, like you can choose other Box 64 version from here. For better stable performance, I do recommend Box 64 0.2.8 or 0.3.1. Yeah, the 0.3.1 is currently the best stable version, even for the low-end Adreno devices. And the latest 0.3.3 is still have some bug issues. Set preset to performance. Create custom preset. Set DynaRec safe flags to value zero. Set custom preset. Now save settings. For Adreno 6119, I do recommend these settings. If you have more than six gigs of RAM, it will be an advantage. Now create new container. Same as usual. Set lower resolution 600p or lower. Select turnip driver. To version 24.1.0, select DXVK. Choose version, so the DXVK 1.10.3 is always the best. But for this time, I'll try with the latest 2.5.2 version. Audio driver to pulse audio, and everything is same as usual. Set video memory size to two gigs. Don't set it too high. The reason why I didn't choose Vortec driver is that still it's not working properly. It's beta version, set to all universal devices. I hope they fix it in the next update. Now to advanced. Set startup selection to aggressive. Select Windows version 10. Enable all CPU cores in Affinity. Now save the container. Now boot. All right, now let's first check out the direct 3D test. Okay, it's perfectly fine. The DXVK 2.5.2 is working stable on this GPU. Let's also install some of these drivers, like the Microsoft Visual C++ 2019 library and runtime libraries. It's mostly not necessary unless it all depends on titles you render. Let's add some games, create shortcuts to the container. So once again, let's check out the Direct 3D this time without screen record. Oh boy, we are getting more frames this time. All set, now exit. Go to shortcuts section. So, in this video, I'm going to test GTA 4, as a lot of you guys requested me to test it on a low-end Snapdragon device. Let's get into it. And there we go. Let's go to its settings. Graphic settings. Set everything to low. Turn off high definition. Let's check out its benchmark. So as you can see, we got an average of 17 FPS. It's quite okay for a low-end device. And both these drivers perfectly configured well. Now let's load the story mode. And as you can see, we are almost getting stable 30 FPS on cutscene. As mentioned, we are getting almost an average of 17 FPS. Of course, here and there are some stutter issues, but quite good for a low-end device. But compared to the previous version of the WinLater 8, the WinLater 9 is way better in terms of performance and stability. In the previous old update, the game used to crash a lot at each time. Anyways, that's all for this video, guys. Hope you liked. Also, subscribe us for more. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.